All right, welcome back to Drew Pearson Live. I'm now joined by the mayor of McKinney, and his name is Brian Lowmiller. And Brian, thanks for being with us and taking the time. Absolutely, it's great to be here. Right on. So, how's things going in McKinney? This is your second term uh, as mayor of McKinney. How's things going? There? McKinney is great. We are the number one city in America, according to Money Magazine, and have a lot of development happening, a lot of things happening throughout North Texas, but. Uh, McKinney's getting its fair share, and so it's been very exciting. What do you got to do to become the number one city in America? Wow. <laughs> well, you just have to be number one. So, no, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been good. Money Magazines, uh, they, they do the, this ranking about every two years, and uh, since I've been mayor, we've gone from number 14 to number five to number two to number one, and, wow. and it's just constantly uh, working on projects, and, and quality of life is a huge uh, part of that, you know, mm -hmm. and, and we really focus on that with our parks and recreation facilities and the quality of our schools and our, you know, the school districts. So that's a big part of it as well. So how many high schools in McKinney now? Three high schools. Three high schools. Yep. And they're all what? Do you have four or five A? Six uh, A? We have one that's six A, uh, and the other two are five A. Right on. So uh, this is your second term. Has your agenda changed from your first term as the city continues to grow? It hasn't changed a lot. I mean, we're focusing on economic development. We just opened a new hotel conference center uh, this year uh, with 20,000 square feet of meeting space. We're working on a corporate center in Craig Ranch. And, you know, the, the, the thing about McKinney that's difficult is we have, people don't realize how much land we have. We have over 30,000 acres of undeveloped land that are within our wow. city that will ultimately be developed. So a lot of our planning uh, that we're working on now is for that north, northern section that's undeveloped. Yeah, some of that planning will include sports activities as well. You oh, have absolutely. a great new facility there, uh, McKinney PSA, and I heard you're uh, even looking to do some more things in the sports area. Absolutely. We have, uh, in fact, right next to the PSA, we're going to be building a, an aquatic center, about 80,000 square feet with a competition pool, a recreation pool, a lot of uh, meeting space, workout facilities, indoor track. And it's, you know, we have a 150-acre park where the PSA is located. Mm -hmm. And so ultimately, at, at build-out, we'll have additional soccer fields and, and baseball fields as well. Nice. And the facility there at the McKinney PSA is awesome. I go there yeah. to see my grandson play basketball. I'm just totally impressed with the uh, facility there. I got a feeling it might not be big, big enough in a couple of years for as the uh, McKinney continues to grow well, population-wise. Right. And it's a great partnership with PSA. You know, we had over 6,000 kids in McKinney that were leaving McKinney and going to PSA and Plano and other areas. So, mm -hmm. so it was nice that they came to McKinney and we, we reached a great agreement with them to build it and, and it's, been, it's been very good. Now you're quite an athlete yourself, I understand. You comp compete in an Ironman competition. Tell us about that. Yeah, I'm getting ready to do my uh, third Ironman in Louisville, Kentucky in October. Um, I've been doing triathlons since about 1992 and uh, it, it keeps me out of trouble, I guess. It's, uh, <laughs> It's about a five-month training regimen to get ready for one, and, and it took, uh, you know, it'll take me about 12, 12 and a half hours to finish. Wow, wow. Did you compete like that when you were in college uh, or anything like that in high um, school? I wrestled in high school, and I've always been a runner. I've ran, mm -hmm. uh, I've ran 12 marathons. Um, uh, most recently, well, I did uh, uh, the Florida Ironman last year. I've done Arizona. I've ran Boston Marathon, Chicago, Washington, D.C., uh, so it's just, I've always wow. been into sports. So. Mm -hmm. And that's a good thing. You know absolutely. that, right? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Keeps now, you're, a, you're an attorney by trade. Do you find that trade helps you in your uh, role as mayor of McKinney? Well, I, I think it does because obviously when, you know, working with six other council members, uh, you have to build consensus. You have mm -hmm. to get everybody on the same page in terms of projects. And uh, I do family law litigation, and it's a highly emotional field of law to begin with. So you get used to a mediation type of form of practice, and uh, and that carries over well when you're dealing with your constituents, when you're dealing with city staff. So yeah, it's been very helpful. Right on. Now your term runs out in 2017. Can we expect you to run for a third term? Can you scoop us right here on no, I, I, Live? No. Unfortunately, <laughs> we have we have term limits in McKinney, so they're oh, okay. they're going to be finished with me. But I this will be. Uh, I did two terms as a council member before being mayor, and so I'll have about 14 years in by the time I'm finished, right which, is, which is plenty. Well, any other aspirations in a political arena for beyond that? I don't know. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, I, you, you know, get encouragement from I, uh, your 
peers, your constituency to further your political career? I get a lot of encouragement uh, from, How about from your my wife? peers. <laughs> I was going to say, my wife is... Uh, She's the reluctant politician's wife, but she's, she's been great. She's been very supportive, and I have three kids. My youngest is getting ready to graduate from high school, so uh, a lot of it depends on family uh, and what, what they want me to do or not do, and, and we'll see what happens. Well, I, no matter what you do, McKinney's in good shape right now in your hands, so uh, don't drop nothing, okay? No, absolutely not. You're like the original 88, and don't drop nothing. Yes, sir. All right, well, we appreciate you having uh, taking the time to be with us, Mayor. And uh, we uh, look forward to great things continuing in the city of McKinney. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, we'll have more Drew Pearson Live right after this.